Hi everyone, it's Adam here. Uh, we're back on the F750GS. Let me actually lower you down a little bit. There, is that better? All right, so um, the F750 and F850 are uh, parallel twins. And um, the way the exhaust flow goes is it leaves the cylinders right there, comes down to a catalytic converter here. There's a clamp, and then it meets up with this resonator, this big, huge metal box right here. I'm actually going to weigh it, figure out which it weighs. And then it goes up here to a link pipe, and then from there, uh, this link pipe up to this exhaust is an ap aftermarket Acura exhaust. So, um, in this video, we're going to be installing the Remus link pipe. Let's uh, unbox it and see what it looks like. So, for export only, meaning you can't run it in Europe. Uh, it makes you remember, I was thinking before, that perhaps that this is uh, a Euro 5 kind of thing. Um, inside is kind of dirty. I mean, I would say Remus kind of threw this together. But uh, as far as exhaust goes, it only costs like 200 bucks. So a lot of people that you know, don't mind the look of the stock can, but would like a little weight reduction and a increase in sound, have just bought the Remus pipe because... Um, for the reason I just outlined, and it's super cheap. You don't want to spend the eight, nine hundred bucks on an Acra can, uh, which you're going to cover up with pannier racks anyway, like I have. All right, so instructions. Nice full color. So they're actually saying here to remove the um, the stock can, and then remove it the link pipe. I'm going to go a little bit different from that. I'm going to try to at least, because I don't want to actually. <laughs> I don't want to go in through all this. So then you're going to be removing the uh, clamp underneath the foot peg. After that, uh, removing the clamp above the foot peg, and then you're going to uh, put it all together like that. So for me, I'm going to be removing this first. And that doesn't, it's not Loctited at all. And uh, the reason why you're removing this guard here is because this actually moves over to the Remus link pipe, which is nice. Um, saves them some money and it allows you to keep parts together because it's one thing about installing aftermarket accessories is you have these all these OEM parts left over that they're just kind of disheveled and strung in that spot. Now we're going to be uh, taking this T45 off right here, but I wanted to do two so exhaust clips. I want to do an exhaust clip with the um, that's all you got to do with uh, just the Acura install, and I want to do an exhaust clip with the resonator plus the Acura. Uh, I would do one with just the resonator and no Acura, but Come on guys, I'm not a magician. So the clamp is right under here. That's the part here. This is the part where I had to figure out how to get this resonator off without having to remove the Acra. Cause... So as you can see, I did have to remove the, uh, the exhaust. Uh, luckily I have this nice little T40 here with a little uh, rotating head. So I was able to kind of get in there and work it out. And I had not yet applied Loctite to that bolt, so that's probably for the best. All right, so this is the resonator completely exposed. Now that we have both clamps undone, we're just going to shimmy this right off its fulcrum. And there are two exhaust hangers down here as well, we'll show you in a second. There, we almost got it. There you go. Oh, that's heavy. <laughs> That's probably six or seven pounds. Uh, we're going to be popping these rubber grommets out of here. Try to find the area of least resistance. Let's see. Thirteen hundred fifty grams is what I would estimate that one to be. Uh, 7.4 pounds. So I'll do the quick math later, but 950 grams. No, 1350. So looking underneath, this is what it looks like on the rear of the engine. You've got your hanger right there. So we're going to be moving those grommets over to the new Remus pipe. And there's our exhaust coming out of the catalytic converter right there. And then straight up. I always tell people that you may be tempted to, uh, to use a pick, but, uh, don't do it. 
Here's our clamp off the resonator. Gonna make sure it's the same orientation. So I ended up using a uh, just a rubber mallet like this to uh, to get this piece uh, married up all the way. So these pieces here. They weren't wanting to play along. It was hard to get these in here, but also keeping this straight to get this in that spot there. So we have our clamp. This is our OEM clamp is back on. And the bottom, we have our bolt that we're gonna be plugging with a 13 millimeter. That's right there, 13 to the other side. And uh, we'll screw that down now. Um, but first, let's actually reinstall the upper clamp to make sure we're far enough in. I don't wanna tighten that down until we're actually sure that this marries up perfectly with the Acra pipe all the way up. <sighs> that was a lot of work. It works but I'm not gonna keep this pipe on here. I'm gonna return it. Uh, not even gonna keep it long enough for you guys to get a sound test on the uh, road because if you look here, see how crooked that is? I had to pull with all of my strength to get this thing to fit on here and now it's all kind of lopsided. So uh, yeah, it's just, it's not gonna stay on the bike. Um, we'll do a startup cold start test, but I really wanted to make this work. Heather was so happy with the uh, Acra. Um, this would have saved about six, seven pounds of weight, but it's been all screwy. And so I'm not happy with keeping this on here. So the resonator goes back on. Sorry guys. Plus, honestly, no skip plate is gonna cover this. So if we were to go over any sort of anything uh, with this bike, it's already a low suspension bike. Um, whatever we go over is going to whack this, it's going to bend this up and it's going to cause all this shit to go with it. And it could even fray off that hanger connection. So let's start it up and then we're just going to cut our losses and call it a day on this one. It's unfortunate, but it took every bit of strength of mine to get it this far threaded in. I don't think I'm going to keep it any, it's not going to stay on there very long as far as, uh, you know, the, um, what's the word for it? reliability of this, everything needs to be reliable. So so then I would say, you know, Remus pipe plus the stock exhaust work just fine. But there's a reason why Acura includes this um, this link pipe because their design is different. And uh, now I'm mixing two manufacturers and that's where things start to get screwy. The Acura looks far better and already shaves four and a half pounds off. So I'm pretty much happy with this. So here's the, the link pipe in all of its glory. And, um, it's a, it's a well. What a shame, but whatever. All right, let's get this thing started up. All right, it's going to be loud, I think. Whoa. Wow, that's loud. <laughs> it sounds good. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I would want to tour with this setup either. It's just way too much pops. Um, if this was a hooligan bike, you know, an F850R, maybe it'd be worth like shaving a little bit off of this side right here or this side right here. But no, in the current form, the Acura is perfect and this is just going to be asking for trouble. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Sorry, Heather, I couldn't make this work, but uh, it's coming off the bike.